tell. Okay. All right. We're live. We are live. <laughs> Welcome back to this week's edition of the Up Media Show. We talk about marketing tips, we talk about business tips, and we have great people who share their stories with us. Thank you. So today we've got Ben Baker from Your Brand Marketing. That's uh, me. He's all over the place. So if you want to find him on Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, Facebook everywhere. everywhere. Just find me at Your Brand Marketing. It's probably the easiest way to look for me. Do it. Look him up. So. As per usual, uh, you know, we're having conversations about business, building business, making business better. Uh, today, we're flying solo. Anthony's not here manning the camera, so... What's with him? You know I what? Know. Do you think he's working or something like yeah. that? He, he can't come up and play with us. You know, we're in <laughs> Richmond. We're on the we're on the North Dyke. We're looking out at the, over it's the beautiful. airport. It's beautiful. We, we get shouldn't to be see working. It. Oh, they well. can't see it. Oh well. I'll flip the camera at some point so they can see it. Sounds good. That's yeah. fair. No, Anthony's working really hard right now. We've got a bunch of big editing projects that he's good for you. finishing up. Thank you. Good for you. All these business tips we've been getting have been helping us grow our business. There so, we go. Uh, so, to, I mean, I've already started to talk about the name of your business, yes. but then what do you do? What, what do we problem do? do you solve in the world? I've been in the marketing business, God, now, well over 20 years now. And what we do today is we consult, we teach, and we speak on brand, message, market, vision, and value. I mean, that's really what we do. We take a look at companies, we figure out who they are, what they do, why they do it, you know, who are they doing it for, and why people should care. And we help them engage, we help them tell their story. You know, so we work with business to business mostly. We have some government clients and I can tell you the stories about that as well. But uh, you know, mostly we work with probably about 10 to $50 million businesses. And what we do is we help them engage their clients and we help them tell their story. Cool, storytelling. That's so what I do. That's a big theme for Anthony and I too. So. Yeah. I mean, that's one of the reasons we wanted to bring you on is because you do have such a vast experience, like in years, but also in clientele. And the gray hair to prove it. And the gray hair to prove it. And the gray it. hair to prove you it. You know, I, I don't, uh, I can't say I'm in that boat yet, but I'm sure it will uh, be one day. Trust me, you never will be. Women can dye their hair and it's a good thing. Men can dye their hair. Yeah, it doesn't work. It just doesn't work. We get we get told, it says you act your age and just stop dyeing your hair. But women are allowed to act Women can do it until the age they want. All right, well, I choose 12. There you go. I'm going to be 12 forever. Perfect. Um, that was actually one of my favorite ages. That's good. So usually Anthony's here to help keep me on track. Okay. Uh, and usually I'll I do have my best. his cell phone in my hand with all of the questions. But yes. today, like I said, flying solo, we're doing this uh, gorilla style. So let's get back into it. Okay. So you help people tell their story okay. and you do that through you know what different means like we do that through a lot of different reasons I mean first of all as as consultants first what we want to do is understand the brand the brand is the most important thing it's it's understanding who are you really as a company what do you stand for you know what what are your beliefs what do you really do you know it's getting beyond the mantra getting beyond the written down vision statements and the written down mission statements let's get down to who do you do it for what do you do why do you do it and why people should care so we work on that first and foremost and really dig deep and it you know it turns into long weekends away with with executive boards it turns into you know six month long projects of really drilling down, looking at your customers, looking at your staff, looking at your executive, looking at your managers, looking at, at, at everybody within your company and understanding what do they do, why do they do it, and help everybody make sure they're on the same story and the same page. So how, do we, how do we do it? We're not medium specific. I mean, video is perfect. Video is great. We're in a video world. Uh, you know, as we're on video right now that's right I mean let's face it everybody enjoys <laughs> video because it's short it's simple it's to the point I would much rather go to YouTube and sorry Facebook I would rather go to YouTube and I would rather watch a five-minute how-to video on something right. than read through a manual right. and I think everybody's getting that way so the more we can use video to explain simply the better life is so what's a problem that like a client would come to you uh, to solve. Okay, we deal a lot getting out of the B two B realm. Let's get let's get into the government realm. We do a lot with alcohol awareness, drug addiction, smoking cessation, and mental health issues dealing with government. So we deal a lot with the health authorities across Western Canada, 
and a lot of it is youth engagement and video is a great way for engagement because not only is it creating videos that you know that get the kids excited but it's a way to let the kids get excited by using video to tell their own story so they tell their story they tell their story what we do is we create YouTube pages we create you know contests we create different platforms where the different kids from across the province can get together and they can put their videos up live or you know or be able to have them up on a page they get judged by their peers there's actual uh, prizes involved and by doing that the kids get involved they get excited and they're learning at the same time You're and tricking them into learning absolutely <laughs> Absolutely, but doing it in their way. Totally. You know, you're doing it in a medium that excites them because yeah. every kid today, you know, rich or poor, has some type of phone. Yeah. And even if they don't have, you know, uh, even if they're just on Wi Fi, yeah. they can still shoot video. You know, it makes me think about like even when I was in high school. Yeah. Two we, years ago, three years ago? Because I'm 12. Oh, I'm not in high oh, school. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Uh, when I get to high school. Okay. No, but I remember in my English class, we were given a few choices. One, you could uh, do a solo project as an essay. Mm -hmm. You could like, the other one was do like a group diorama or something. Yes. And number three was make a video, right. like reenact some of the scenes from the book we were doing and like make a video and then um, present it to the class with like some, some like questions and, and your opinions about them. Right. And as soon as she said, well, number three is you could do a video. Everyone was like, oh, really? And we all got so excited, everybody did a video. There was like one person who did a solo, you know, written essay, but I don't know why they chose that. The video was yeah. like the funnest part and it made it, the, it made that class, it was like grade 10, it made it one of my favorite classes. Sure, absolutely, because it's it's engaging and it's creative and it's, and it's forward thinking. I mean, when I was in grade 10, it was super eight. You know, we had these wow. great big cameras, yeah, the great big cameras on your shoulders. Those I mean, it was before, too. Oh, yeah, they were too. Yeah. So video wasn't the opportunity back then right. that it is today. Today, anybody with a camera can shoot video, now not shoot video well, but you can shoot video, you know, yes. <laughs> uh, you know, you can shoot video and you can get your point across and you can tell your story and you can be a videographer, you know, with an iPhone. And it's, it's kind of fun that way to be able to watch what the kids can do and as they get better and, you know, and older and more progress, you watch how the technology allows them to tell their story better and better and better. I love those iPhone um, billboards. Yeah. The one that says like shot with an iPhone. Yeah. And it's like just these gorgeous Oh, shots. absolutely. Stunning. Um, so I think, so what I'm hearing is you use, like a client will come to you because they want more engagement. Yes. And they want more, like they want to appeal to a specific audience and you oftentimes use video in order to connect with those people and communicate with yeah. those people yeah. in their medium, like yeah, you're right. saying with you. I mean, we don't just use video, use but, but you know, it's like social media is not the magic bullet. Video is not the magic bullet. Direct mail is not the magic bullet, but when they're used combined and you use mediums together, it's so much better to tell a story. And the more, the more way you can reach out to people in ways that they like to be communicated to, the more effective you're going to be. So totally. figure out what your who your audience is, where your audience is, and plan your marketing campaigns accordingly. It's yeah. it's easy. Yeah. Yeah. So um, what's my next question usually, guys? Any help, Anthony? Anthony's not there. You're no. on your own. You're solo. Okay. Um, so I think usually my next question yeah. is drum roll, please. Drum roll, please. <laughs> When you first got started with video, yes, what were some of your, I don't know if it's like fears or like just hesitations around like getting started in that medium? Because yeah. like you said, it, it's not, it hasn't always been there. And there was a time when you were new to it, new to suggesting it to clients. Absolutely. So what were some of your hesitations or your client's hesitations about using video? Well, I mean, the, the hesitations I have about video when I started were very different from what the hesitations would be today. Okay. One of them was, you know, um, baud speed. You know, I still remember dial-up modems. And I still remember, oh. you know, you wouldn't even think about this, but 14.4 no. and 28.8 and 56K, you know, modems where you're dealing with 
bandwidth of actually trying to get the video out there. Right. Which is not something you ever think about today. I mean, people. No, no I mean, the, the bandwidth, you know, sitting at, at, at 4G on a phone or yeah. sitting, you know, at home, I think I'm at, at 150K, yeah, you know, too. baud rate, you know, so I, I bring down video faster than lightning. You never think about these things, but those were some things that you thought about in the early days of video. It's so a, now that those worries are. Over and done. Yeah. What do you like? What do you think about now? Or they or your clients think about now? I think the trepidation is a lot of people are worried about what do I look like on camera? Uh, and people people are worried about am I going to stutter? Am I going to go um um um? And you know what? Am I going to forget a line? Am I going to forget a line? Uh, but the thing uh, is, is that <laughs> you know what? There's always cut. There's always start again. Yeah. There's always editing. I mean, the beautiful thing about editing today is editing software is getting easier and easier and easier. So even your home-based videos, even people that are doing their videos in their home, and my kid is the king of it. I mean, he loves doing this. What, what does he do his videos on? You know what? He does amazing videos. He just did one for the Richmond School District. He just got hired to do a, a video for the Richmond School what? District. Oh, yeah. How old is your son? He's 13. He's 13 and just got hired to do a video for the Richmond School District. He did this this summer on summer programs within the Richmond School District. And he Whoa. did this because he's got a teacher that believed in him and brought him on as a volunteer. And, you know, he was teaching a course this summer and he goes, you know what, we need a video done and got my son to do it. And he's, and he's doing it through his DSLR camera and having a blast and the, the things that he put out were incredible. And he's got a copy of, uh, you know, first he was using, I forget, oh, I don't even know what software he's using these days. It just keeps on getting better and better. Yeah. But, you know, the editing becomes easier and easier and easier totally. and it's more intuitive. And, you know, anybody can sit down these days and have tools at their fingertips mm -hmm. that are either free or near free. I remember my Mac came with like uh, iMovie. Right. And when I first started using iMovie, I was like, this is easier than I imagined. Like, I mean, exactly. of course, I see Anthony on Final Cut Pro and it's like. Which is what Robbie's using. Final Cut Pro is it's, amazing. It is. It can do, it's still very intricate. There's so many more things you can do that oh, yeah. I know how to do, but like, it's just amazing to see that it's doable. Yeah, but you know what? As you're starting out, you know what, just do it. I, I just to, to take the words out of the Nike playbook, just, just do it. You know what, you can always edit it. You can always yeah. change it. You can always come back to it and don't be afraid of the medium. Mm -hmm. Just experiment with it and, and that makes it better. Yes. You can prepare for it. Like yeah. I always make sure that if there's someone who's gonna be on camera and whether they say they're nervous or not, usually if it's one of their first times on camera, they are. Even if they're like an amazing yep. speaker and they've been on many stages, the camera turns on them and they're like, oh, you're in headlights. So like camera coaching, get a camera coach or you yeah. know, write the script and practice it yourself and, and film yourself so you yeah. can see how you look. And if you don't like what your you know weird twitch with your hand is, yeah. you know, uh, work on that. And you can you can get this feedback yourself. Yeah. And the one thing is, is if you're doing just a one on one, I mean it's different when we're talking to each other, I can talk into yeah. the camera, I can talk to you know to Jen and, and we can go back and forth between that. But if you're just talking to the camera, look at the camera and here's a hint. Have somebody behind the camera with cue cards. Or have somebody behind the camera with an iPad and blow up the text so you can read it. Right. So it looks like you're looking into the camera, but you're actually reading the cue cards behind it. I have a teleprompter app. And there we go. It's actually voice activated. So as I'm speaking, if I get off script, it pauses. Perfect. And then I can see above where I messed up, like where I messed up, and I can start speaking again. And when I get to the right spot, it'll start moving again. It's like yeah. there's technology that makes it so so easy yeah and the nice thing about all that stuff is it's getting cheaper and cheaper yeah. and cheaper you know so it allows people to experiment so go out there experiment experiment play play with it you know what there is no wrong thing and you know what if you put something up on youtube and you hate it two weeks later take it down, take it down. or guess what make it private or make it unlisted yeah. and you know what so you can show it to a couple of your friends and everybody else has no idea it exists right. and that's the beautiful thing about this is that you know you can you can put things as unlisted or you can put the stuff as private and you know what you can show it to the people you want to show it to once you're happy with it then you can release it if you want
want to or don't release it. You know what? It's up to you. But you know what? There is no wrong one way to do it. There's no wrong way to do it. Just keep going. Just keep trying. You'll find the you'll find <laughs> your voice. You'll find the way that you like to do videos. Exactly. So, um, my next question. Yes. What are some of the results that you've re like? If you think about, so the client had the problem. And then you chose, you know, video as part of the solution. Yeah. What are some of the results that you've had? Like even with this, the smoking, I can't say that word. Smoking cessation. Cessation. I was going to say cessation. I know. It's, it's, you know, she sells seashells by the, the seashore. seashore. Yes. He says that all the time. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Not that though. No. Okay. So what have been some of the results? Like qualitative and quantitative yeah, if you I have mean, any. The, 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 you know, the. The big wins are upticks in engagement. You know, I mean, when you're dealing with kids, you know, when all of a sudden you go from three videos on a page to 300 videos on a page, and you know, and you start looking at the scroll through of all those videos, and you start watching the numbers roll up, you know you've done something right. You know, you know you've done something right. And if it costs you five hundred or thousand dollars to get some cool prizes for first, second, and third place, yeah, it's worth every penny. It's worth every wow. single penny because you know what? What you're doing is you're getting hundreds, if not thousands, of kids excited about talking about smoking cessation. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Those are kids that are going to go on and not only live healthier lives themselves. But they're going to talk to their friends about it, and their friends are going to have healthier lives, and it's not going to be cool to smoke anymore. Totally. And you know, and that's how things change. Things change slowly. You know what's really cool about that too is like even when you say your friends will talk to your friends, I think that some conversations will be had, but more than that, it will be shared yes. all over social media, and Absolutely. then my, or you know, because I'm the 12 year old, my video that I made for my project will be shared with my friends. Yes, but then their friends friends and their you know uncle and their yeah. sister and yeah. all of there's like this yeah. there's this such an ability to connect with people when you have some kind of some kind of like um, package to send it's like getting it's like getting something in the mail it is and you open it and you're excited about it but it's like you don't have to actually send something physical you're sending it to yeah. just audiences huge audiences and the neat thing is is I mean I don't have an extremely large Twitter following, I think I'm around a thousand, but I have three people on my list that have over 500,000 people on their wow. list themselves. So I send it out to them. If one of them sends it out to their list, that's 500,000 sets of eyeballs. Yeah. So it's not just your list and who you have on your friendship, it's who do your friends have on their list and how do you compel them to share? Video is a huge way to get people to share. Really funny, yeah. The plane, boss. The plane. Sorry, tattoo. What movie is that from? Oh God, you're way too young. Okay. Okay. Um, I had a funny situation yesterday. I walked into. Think Fantasy Island. Look at the 1970s. Look it up. Tattoo. Comment if you know the film. That's right. Do you know the film? It's not a film. It's a TV it's show. It's a TV show. Okay? It's a TV show. Comment if you know the Fantasy show. Called Fantasy Island. Fantasy Island. That's right. All right. So now. Now they have the answer. There we go. So if you commented before that, then you, you get you thumbs what? up. You get the thumbs up. You get thumbs up anyway. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. There you go. Everyone gets thumbs up. Um, I had a funny situation where I walked into a, a networking event and there was somebody that I didn't really know. Like I, I had like seen them in passing, but they came up to me and they were like, I saw that video that you shared. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what? Yeah. And they're like, yeah, that video that you made that then you guys shared on your page, my friend shared it on her page, then I saw it on her page, and I thought it was a great video. Congratulations, good job. And I was like, that's amazing. It is amazing. Like, I've seen you, literally, I've just seen you in passing, and the only way that you know it's me is because your friend shared it, and it had like the the mark of Up Media, and when you clicked Up Media, you saw my face. That's right. Wow. And that's the power, the effect. that's the power of social media, and that's the power of video, because mm -hmm. when you put the two of them together, you have a very powerful medium that allows you to communicate effectively mm -hmm. and be able to share easily and be able to have the communication. And that's that's huge. That's huge stuff. And take the time and figure it out and find out what you're passionate about and do the videos on talk that. Just talk you, about it. And if you don't want to take the time to figure it out, you know, there are people 
Like I can you. help you with that. Yeah. Like. <laughs> Shameless promotion. Shameless promotion is a beautiful thing. <laughs> so we've talked about how you've helped people with different problems, the kinds of results that you have helped them get. Yes. Why would you, I feel like you've talked about this too throughout you know, our little, our little session today, yes. but like, why would you recommend video to someone now? I would recommend video for a couple different reasons. One, people are lazy. People are lazy. And that's yeah. that's that's life. And I don't want to read a manual. I don't want to read a manual. Yeah. Um, I don't even want to read the onboarding like procedures to my new job. That's right. Give I mean, me a video. That's right. And the thing is, is that the beautiful thing about video is people can have it on their phone, they can have it on their tablet, they can have it on their computer. Uh, you know, there's a million different ways to share it. So it allows you to share information, you know, in such a way that anybody can use it. And you're right. I mean, the, the on onboarding for for companies is huge. Yeah. You know, instead of having to read a manual that's thick, have a dozen different videos yeah. that talk to different policies and procedures, and people will reach and recall them a lot faster. Well, and it's been so. I've I've been working on a on a government project for onboarding, and it's been so cool just to even see the all of the intricacies that go into a process and what used to be at like a manual that was super thick and nobody read and then there was all of these training hours and sessions yep. and flying people you know from yep. from this city to that city to do the training session like just the hundreds of thousands if not millions of dollars yes. in training someone and continuing the training mm -hmm. it's just massive whereas now it's like we help them make what 20 videos and they've been able to use that and like set up just learning sessions once a week in their team and say you know if you like here just spend an hour today on this upgrade as opposed to spend a you know a two-day journey to get here to do the upgrade to come right. back it's been really cool to see the, the, the ship and the nice thing is is if you don't get a concept you can rewind and replay again. at your convenience you don't even have to worry about putting up your hand and feeling like an idiot. I always hated that in school, putting oh, up yeah. your hand, being like, I don't understand what you're saying. I know you used English, but I didn't get it. So with a video, there's like none of that, That's right. um, you know, embarrassment. You just press rewind. And away you go. And away you go. And press and play we, again. Play again. So what are you excited about in the future with, with the video world, world of video? What I'm excited about is what is it? It's a plane. The plane bus. The plane. The plane bus. Little tattoo. It's a plane, little tattoo. Yeah, he's dead. Herb oh. Belichez is dead. But you know what? He was an amazing actor. So what but are you excited about? What am I excited about with with video moving forward is just that the how it can be used to convey thoughts instantly in terms of, you know, even instead of writing an email to somebody, you can just sit there on you know, you can record something on your on your phone. You can you can show people around you what you're talking about, right. and be able to hit send, and all of a sudden they have an exact idea of what you're talking about. Say you're on a construction site, you're on a construction site, and you have a problem. You have a a, a crack in the foundation. You can t you know take a video, a quick video of the crack of the foundation, what the problem is, be talking about it at the same time, hit upload, and be able to send it off to the engineers. You know, or the city right away and get it and get it fixed right you know without people having to come down and spend extra time and extra money to, to be able to do it more instantaneously you can be able to address problems in real time and this can be done for safety concerns it's can be done for construction concerns it can be done on a you know on an you airline it can be done any concerns it can know? be done for anything yeah. and be able to sit there and say instantaneously this is what the problem and instead of trying to explain it, you can show somebody yeah. and that that leads to an immediacy and it leads to a better understanding so you're both on the same page even if you're a thousand miles apart that's so cool i even sometimes i actually record a video instead of an email yeah. i record a video uh, from an app and i just send it to the person and it's like hey it was so great to meet you at the networking event yesterday i'd love to sit down for a coffee and talk about how we can you know help each other out yeah. and i get such great responses from that. People reply and go, oh my God, I can't believe you sent me a video. Well, of course you did. You're a video company. That's what ah, you do. Ha, ha. Let's sit down to Tuesday or whatever. Yeah. It's great. It's, and it just feels like it's such more of it's a connection. It's more human. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's, it's more it's, human. It's, it's, it's more personal. That's like one of our um, internal taglines is like, you know, bringing humanity back to business. Nice. Because it is much more like connected. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, have we have we have we have we, fi have we fixed all the problems of the universe? I think so. Okay. Yeah. This this uh, Facebook live show today just fixed all the problems of the universe. Perfect. We even answered all of my questions. I think. If anybody uh, has any questions for Ben, you can reach him at yourbrandmarketing.com or at your brand marketing. You're on. Yeah, all the on 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 Facebook, it's your brand marketing, and uh, on Twitter, it's your brand. M R K T N G because they don't give you enough letters. Um, Instagram is your brand marketing, and uh, LinkedIn it's your brand marketing. So it's amazing. It's your brand marketing. We're at your brand marketing. I like the 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 your brand part because it's like it's it really is your brand. It's not about like you know what that person's doing or that person. It's like working with you is about what's my brand. It's about it's about you and your story. You know what? It's not about me and what I think. It's about you, your story, and how you relate to your customers and, and how to help you engage. You know what? That's what it's all about and that's how I help clients. That's awesome. Thank, Thank you. you so much, Ben. And if you guys have any questions for me or Anthony or any of the Up Media team, uh, you know where to find us. We're Up Media all over the place. Up Media Tweets, Up Media Gram, um, and if you if you are doing something really cool with video, like Ben and all of our guests have talked about with their video stories, let me know. I'd love to hear about it and, and even maybe... And share you it. Know, yeah, share it and have you sit in this seat or whichever seat we choose because Facebook Live goes anywhere. Um, we'd love to have you. As long as they pay for the plane tickets. That's true. That's right. If you, you have want to play me to go to Guam tickets. or something, you just have to pay for my my flights and hotel I guess that's fair actually I would do my own hotel if it's Guam I'm sure I'm sure I could afford it okay but plane tickets plane tickets are plane important tickets. Yeah. yeah I mean you paid for my plane ticket to Steve's of course Stone, right? that's right yeah and the passport to get across and the, the passport bridge. I had to right. uh, update my passport for this yes uh, uh we're done we're done <laughs> thanks so much Ben that was fun it's great to have you thanks oh and I promised them though that I would turn them and show them where we are so this is it what is this place called? This is Steveston. This is Sea Island, which is where the airport is. And we're just on the north arm of the Fraser River. There you go, guys. This is the beautiful view we've been having today. And one last. Go. Oh, take those off. Take those sunglasses off. All right, guys. Have a good day. Soon.